Hello everybody and welcome, you're watching Dave playing games, my name is Dave and I am playing Fallout New Vegas. So um, we're in the bunker in the Hidden Valley and we found the Brotherhood and I feel like I've made a slight mistake. So whilst it clearly says in the writing section that I have the first choice to kill the Brotherhood of Steel, actually I should be doing what I've been doing throughout. I should be referring to the quest flowchart and the first option there is just to ignore them after I've made contact. I'm not going to complain, that's a much much easier solution. However, I do have one tiny tiny problem, the collar. Now I can't take the collar off, it won't let me and I can't leave without it blowing up and that's a bad thing. So I have to at least go along with things for now, do what the Brotherhood wants and try and find my exit. Luckily I've had my gear returned to me so I'm back in my sexy, sexy sleepwear. So let's go and find this NCR Ranger. And of course, it's still... Oh, the Colorado a little while ago. don't do that. Just get the hell out of me. Right, so let's go and find that NCR Ranger and hopefully not get jumped by any more Brotherhood. Now he's allegedly in one of the other bunkers. I just need to get to one of the other bunkers without being mobbed by scorpions. Sounds easy enough. And we're being directed to this bunker. I feel like this is the first bunker we found. Hopefully this is the one with the ranger in. So let's just sneak along here, see what we find. Oh, yep, that looks like the chappy. Well, he's obviously going to be better equipped and armoured than me. So I'm just going to go over and pop a couple of these frag mines down. That should hopefully do a little bit, and then if I'm lucky I can get a sneak attack off with my varmint rifle. Let's be sure I get a good hit off on him. Don't get shot by the mines. No, no, no. That's it. Walk on the mines. Walk on the mines. Thinking about it, I should probably be healing as well, so it's gecko steak time. Step on the mines. Step on the mines. I have no idea what that explosion was. My mines both blew up, so what was that? But uh, you know, I'm not really that fussed. Here is Dobson here. We'll take his 308, his hunting rifle, very nice. And then pop back to Elder McNamara and give him the good news. Hopefully this is enough, he'll take that sodding collar off. Steel Bros, I have excellent news. Stand back from the door. The Elder's eager to hear your report. So in we pop, speak to the Brotherhood. And there's Elder McNamara now. How did you resolve the situation with the ranger? The way I deal with most situations, explosives. How do you know he won't be missed? That other rangers won't come looking for him? Or NCR patrols? Did you just make matters worse? You you told me to deal with what I did, what, what was I supposed to do? It would seem you are a brute, but even a brute can be of use. Since you completed your assigned task, I will allow you to come and go from the bunker freely. So let's get that collar off you. There, that's better, I hope. Stop by the command room when you can. Oh, and bear in mind, if you end up betraying us, we will know it. And there will be no mercy. Well, he seems friendly. Anyway, with all that done, I can go back to Yes Man, tell him I've spoken to the Brotherhood, and be on my merry way. That said, Prima's guide does not want me to go directly back to Yes Man. It instead wants me to go and speak to the Boomers. So we need to travel up here somewhere. And theoretically, we could just take a straight shot from Freeside's north gate. And hopefully we're not ambushed here. No? So far, so good. So a little straight shot northeast. And we can try and find these boomers, find out what they're all about, and then ignore them completely. An angry cow just there. Oh. Um, a seemingly very angry cow. Why are you angry, cow? Okay, so for some reason, this cow really wants me dead. Time for that hunter perk to kick in, I guess. Oh, and it did. No, no, no. Lovely, so with that livestock brutally dispatched, for a single experience point, just a Brahmin meat, which is to be expected, let's continue our hike towards the boomers. A nice quiet hill, wait, hang on. There's a person. Hello, person. Whoa there, pal. You better slow down, or you'll get blown up like the rest of the idiots who thought they'd scavenge in Boomer territory. Now that I've got your attention, might you be interested in a little information? There are a bunch of artillery slinging, grenade lobbing odd jobs camping out in Nellis. Wander into their territory, and you're as good as mincemeat. Okay, so can I get past it? There is a way, and I'll tell you. For a little wager. 
If you give me the caps, I'll tell you. If you make it back alive, I'll double your money. Okay, so 300 caps. Well, I can drop it down to 200 with my incredible barter skill. All right, I suppose I can cut you a deal, but not a cap lower. That page has the details, but it's all in the timing as you move from building to building. I'll be here watching, so I'll know if you've made it to the gate or not. Remember, I'll pay double your wager if you make it back. So I've been given a note, the key to avoiding artillery is to move from building to building up the northwest side of town towards the front gate. Stick to the high cover in the northeast corner at the two buildings, then make a beeline for the gate. The boomers won't shoot at their own people, so stick it to da 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 You know what? This is far too in-depth. Can't believe I just paid 200 caps for it. Pretty much just need to go straight forward. Probably as straightforward as it sounds. Oh, oh. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Oh, I can hear. Oh, that's, that's terrible. No, stop exploding. Stop exploding. Stop shooting me, please. That's, that, they have a lot of artillery. Ow, that really hurt. Okay. So they appear to have stopped firing, but not after crippling virtually all of my limbs. And we're back to hobbling again. Are you willing to have a civil conversation? Hold it right there. Don't you move. How the hell did you survive that bombardment? Mostly just, you know, sprinting. But I had you zeroed in the whole time. Nobody's that fast. Move a muscle now and I'll blow you to pieces. I mean, you'll be firing through a gate, so I fancy we'll both die, but... Then just, just stay where you are. Raquel will be here any second. I'll take this from here. I'm Raquel, Master at Arms for the Nellis Homeland. Mother Pearl, our eldest, wishes to speak to you. Lovely. Okie dokie. I'll, uh, I'll do that. Also, I can't help but notice that you have a Pip-Boy. She said that this day would come, and that any savage to reach our gate should be brought to her. I feel savage is a little bit mean, but go on then, let's have a chat. Follow close, and mind your behavior. Welcome, child. Took your sweet time getting here, didn't you? I've been waiting a good five years for an outsider to come along and visit. Well, I hope I don't disappoint. Anyway, why? You picked a good time to stop by, for we're swimming in problems. My youngers can tell you all about it. Raquel could use help with the bug problem. Doc Argyle has wounded he's tending to. And Loyal and Jack might be looking for help with some repairs. So now we've done enough that we've spoken to the boomers, we don't actually need to stick around here anymore. However, I need to find that doctor, as I think he might be able to sort out some of my various issues. This place is huge, but seemingly no obvious place for a doctor to hang out. All of these places seem boarded up as well. Maybe this is a bust. Alright then, great calms it is. And so we'll just hobble down this way and see if we can find access to where they hang out. Wait a minute. Hang on, I'm being an idiot. Part of the stuff given to me by Emily included a doctor's bag, which restores all body parts. There we go, it's a miracle, I'm cured. Although I'm still not very healthy. So let's take some food and drink and get that health on the upward swing. Coming to the edge of town, if we just follow this road down here, maybe that'll lead to where we'll find the Great Khans. And, wait, no, that's a bush. Maybe then, We'll be a little closer to finishing everything up. Wait a minute, who are you? Hmm. They don't seem hostile. They also don't seem interested. So we'll just give you a wide berth. Oh, uh-oh. Lots of red stuff. Lots of red stuff. What's the... What the hell are those? Aha. I see. Nope. Oh god, now I'm in danger. Oh god, now I'm in danger. No, 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 no. We're not dealing with those. We are not dealing with those. Screw that. I would genuinely rather be fighting a death claw. Are they still following me? No. No, I think they've got bored. Why am I still in caution? Oh god! Who the hell are they? Shit, I don't care. I don't care who they are. I'm running. Weave, 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 weave. Put some stuff between us and them. So they are... They are still coming. 
Oh god, what was that? And I'm in caution from something over there. Seriously? This was fine when I walked through it a second ago. Why is everything trying to kill me? Oh yeah, and then I'll do it all on one life and not die. That'll be really fun, won't it? Idiot. So I'm hidden. What was the red thing over there? It's still red, but it's not interested. Maybe if I just sneak my way along, maybe I'll get past everything. Aha, so that's what they were. Fiends. I feel like I can't really take those on. Maybe if I just, again, try and sneak round them. I'm so really pleased I killed all those geckos because their meat's coming in handy. And I'm coming up on what I assume is something to do with Sunset Sarsaparilla. Just getting a feeling. More fiends ahead of me. They're everywhere around here. How close am I to where I need to be? Okay. Fairly. I'll just continue south. Maybe I can work my way around them. Nope. They're in that direction too. Okay, they're seemingly everywhere. Uh oh, I'm in caution. Oh, I'm in danger. Who am I in danger from? I'm not sure where they've gone. How they plan to get to me. I think I might have confused them. What I could try, and this is never going to work, but I could try and throw a plasma grenade at them. Please explode you. That, that didn't help as much as I thought it was going to. Right, okay. So, varmint rifle it is then. You seem to have a melee weapon, is that right? Oh, you do! Oh, you've got a pull cue! Oh, that's less terrifying. Get some good shots off in your face. I have literally no action points because of my terrible, terrible radiation. Can I nail you from behind? Oh, yeah, lovely. And then... Thank Crunchy for terrible AI. Right, but I'm not alone. There was more than one. I think there was more than one. Where was the other fella? I feel like there was two. Ooh! I must have killed the other one. I did! Oh, and I'm pleased I did. He had a shotgun. Now I'm nice and hidden again, so continue our treacherous journey through fiend territory. Another fiend. She's not paying attention. She also has a laser rifle on her, so do without her shooting me with that. Oh, and brilliant. I'm in caution again. I wonder if maybe I could just run past them. Maybe that would work. Can I hop my way up here? Nope. No, I cannot. Nothing to see. Nothing to see. There's no one here. It was at roughly this point I realised I'm wearing a bright red pair of silk pyjamas. This is probably not the most sneaky thing in the world. Oh god, they've seen me. So just keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Oh, and more fiends ahead as well. Of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that. Luckily, it didn't bother the ones behind me. I was trying to zoom in. Okay, back into Hidden, and he's rounded the corner. Looks like it's just one. Should probably reload. And if we can just get nice and close and pop them in vats. That's a new no idea we're here. Shit, he knows I'm here! Okay, no, 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 no. Let's pop a stim pack and. That's doing nothing. Right, okay, maybe. I mean, it wouldn't be the answer to all of life's problems, would it? Possibly, and he's possibly got a shotgun. Oh, this is not going to go well for me. That really didn't... Oh, God, there's two of them. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, this is terrible. This is terrible. Okay, so plasma rifle then. I picked up some microfusion cells in a hollowed out rock in the thing, so whatever. Oh, lucky. Right, but where's his friend? Is his friend still on? Yes. Oh god, and he's still shooting me with a shotgun. This is this is this is scary. You like the sight of it. That still didn't finish him off. Oh, and his friends from over there are interested as well. Oh, this is a disaster. 
Right, you go away. Not interested. You, please die. Fantastic. Right, I took down that fiend, which should mean that that way's clear. That's that's how this works, right? So if I just come round here. And then, oh, there's more fiends. How many? Just one. Okay. Is that one still chasing me? No, it seems to have gotten bored. Actually, if I just go south, there we go. I think I can swing round into where I need to be. So, just keep on sneaking. Keep flittering from hidden and cautions. They're obviously slightly aware I'm here. Oh, what? That's because there's another one here, isn't there? Yep, found another fiend with another shotgun. Right. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, so plasma rifle you. I have no AP. May have panic shot a little bit, a lot there, but ends and means. And I'm out of ammo on this again. I don't ever remember it being this hard before. And this is with a sodding game guide. Oh, of course he's found me. Why wouldn't he have found me? He has, however, only got a knife. So, not as concerned about you. Okay, I appear to be running out of ammo in this as well. Oh, this is, this is not brilliant. Ugh! Why am I still in caution? You know what I said earlier? I would genuinely rather be fighting a death claw. I didn't mean it. Like, at all. Ah oh, well, never mind, nothing we can do about that now, eh? If you want to find out if Mojave Dave can get past that death claw, you're going to have to tune in next week. If you've liked the video, stick a like on the video for me and subscribe to Dave Playing Games to make sure you're here for the resolution of that lizardy battle. I'd like to say I'm looking forward to it, but honestly, really, no, I'm not. But I'll have to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with it anyway next week. So in the meantime, take care of yourselves. Ta-ra.